Hi, welcome to Leaders Accessories Outdoors. We're going to show you a bow today. You've decided to go ahead and look online for a mail order bow. And here we are, we're looking at the 50 to 75 pound um, compound bow from Leaders Accessories. Maybe you've never ordered a bow online before, but I'd like to go ahead and just run you through how simple and easy of a decision that I want to make this for you, okay? This bow, with a number of features that you've already read about, is 31 and a half inches, axle to axle. It's very, very short. Perfect for the ground blind, perfect for the tree stand. This bow comes out of the box in a very, very simple package. One bow, sights, and a rest. We can get you set up with this bow in the short time of this video, give you some details about the specifications of the bow and how it's made, and you will be, your comfort level will go way up. Some of the bows are $600, $700, but you're not in that market. So what's the risk of buying a, a, a cost-effective bow? Well, let me tell you. Here you'll find the same features as you will. This technology has come so far. Split limbs, aluminum riser, um, string silencers and dampeners, let off, um, 75 to 80% let off, a very, very sturdy bow. But what we really wanted to do for this short video was just show you how to set it up, what you're going to get when you order it. So follow along. Every bow comes standard with a number of these pre-drilled holes in the riser. This is so that you can accessorize it with the needed components of every bow, including um, sights, including a rest, including a quiver, including a stabilizer. So this bow is no different. It has industry standard pre-drilled holes and I'm going to show you how to use them. So the very basic and first element that comes with this bow is a rest. I've mentioned before that this isn't a top of the line rest. This is a, a functional rest. It works and it will work for you. As soon as you get used to it and comfortable with it and you want to get up to the next level, there's rests that you can get 40, 50, 70, 100 dollars if you want to. So this kit comes with this rest and this sight and I'm going to show you right now as fast as I can how you can set your bow up and have it ready to shoot. So follow along. We take the rest and we're going to use the set screw or the set bolt and the threaded screw and we're going to go right into the riser in the rest pre-drilled hole. And after a number of rotations you're going to see that the rest will approach center of the riser shelf. And this will give you alignment with the string. So, a couple of turns and you can see this is it. There's a set screw here, you tighten it down and that's how it is. All right. So we have the rest is already put on the site. Now we're going to put, or the rest is already put on the riser. Now we're going to put the site, and the site is comprised of a site bracket and site pins. Site pins have components to them, a lock nut, a washer, like that. This is the sight window. We can assemble this right onto the bow using these screws and washer set. Hand tighten down. Okay. Now we're going to put a pin, the first pin, onto the window. There's some slots here and we're going to use the one with the largest degree of adjustment which is the outer one so we we'll put the washer on then the set screw 
and then the fine tune. Very simple. Side pin, assembly. There's two side pins, so we'll do the same for the second. We'll go ahead and put this one here on this sliding window. And we'll put the washer on, the tightener, and the fine tune. This is your assembled bow. This bow, with the help of a release, is ready to shoot and make the final fine tune adjustments to the knock or the rest and the sights. So, before, this arrow contains a knock at the end, which pinches the string, and it has an odd colored feather. The odd colored feather goes up or out. It's called the cock feather. Click it onto the string, and what we're going to look for when we set is that it's perpendicular to the string. And if you're using a release aid, it needs to go up slightly. Now on this string, as I've mentioned, are these rubber sliding um, nuts. And they uh, have been utilized recently because of their aid in helping dampen the vibration of the string. But we're gonna go ahead and use two of these to help us with this knock. Eventually, you're gonna to wanna to get uh, a D-loop, and um, there's plenty of videos about how to do that. I have an example of a D-loop string here, and the D-loop strings, you can, you can uh, actually create um, something for your release to hold on to. But here, we're gonna use a, a release, and this is set, as you can see, just slightly off perpendicular from the string. It's actually 1 16th, uh, or close to an eighth of an inch off, off, of, off of perpendicular. So, as a demo, again, I put this uh, release aid. Very important to save your fingers. This bow is cranked up to 70 pounds, and you don't want to use your fingers for that. So the technology now is a number of caliper style release aids. And this particular one uh, comes in the other kit. Um, it is always open or always closed, however you do it. You want to set it so that your finger would just rest right on it when you're at draw. And you're going to want to um, pull the trigger when you shoot. So I will do a demo on the pull. You grab underneath on the string, underneath the um, bushing, the rubber bushing that we put there as a knock holder, and now you can do your draw. Again, this is 70 pounds, not something that I'm used to shooting, but here we have this setup. And now you're ready to use your sight pins and aim it at your target. Never dry fire your bow, <clears throat> and always be careful if you have to release your bow like that. Um, I recommend that you dial down the bow, tremendously so, uh, if you're a youth or someone who, who needs uh, the, the lower end. And that is done through the lamb bolt um, tightening system. And we provide you with a, an Allen wrench. So you might have your own tools that do this, but there's nothing, uh, this is basically how you do it. Counterclockwise will loosen it counterclockwise will loosen it and you do the same amount for the top as you do the bottom. You don't want to go more than half a turn at a time that way you can keep track of what you're doing and you never want to go more than five turns. So each turn is worth approximately five pounds, uh, four to five pounds. So if the bow is set at 70 from the factory and you dial it down four turns you're going down about 16 pounds. Okay, so 16 to 18 pounds you can do and get it uh, right over 50 pounds. The let off is between 75, no, 75 and 80 percent let off on this bow. And I can, I'll demonstrate one more time to show you that what 70 pounds feels like to me, pulling it is pretty brutal. It's strong enough, again, to make, that will take any game animal in North America. And it, 
I don't know if I want to say the whole world, but I know that um, uh, this bow is, is strong enough to do that. It could, could do an elephant as far as I know. But the, this, this has a nickname. They call it the Brute or the Monster because it is a, a, a bomber bow. It is totally solid. It's 31 and a half inches axle to axle again. You'll see that the maneuverability in the blind is fantastic. You're going to find out that it's a powerhouse with these compression molded fiberglass limbs. And especially with these uh, yoke style, um, these ovals, uh, cam systems, and, and the uh, bus cables. The way this thing works together to give you the, um, the back, the very back of your draw, is very steady. This is 70, 75% let off, I'm sure, that I'm only holding um, so 25 pounds, I'm gonna guess. That's what this is. Now, you can wait all day with this if you needed to. <clears throat> Never dry fire your bow, but if you're gonna bring it back, as I mentioned before, you, you have to do what you have to do, but um, you got to follow it back. If you do dry fire the bow, it's catastrophic. It, it could um, come off of these, these are very technical rail systems for the cable to follow. And the dry fire energy is too much for these bows to handle these days. It it's literally explodes the bow and it's dangerous to you and people around you. And that's it. That's the bow. Uh, you want to stay tuned. And we'll show you some other features about the bow as well. But for now, this is the 50 to 75 pound liters accessory compound bow in the green camo version right there. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video and it helps making your mail order bow decision that much easier. Thank you. All right, so we got it in here. Just for now, we don't have far to go. Let's go.